Hello, welcome to the channel. Today, we're working on my Evo 9. We're going to be putting this thing over there. If you have ever owned an Evo, you know that pretty much every single Evo exhaust manifold is rusty. Shut up. So we picked up a new one. I bought this like over a year ago for my Evo 7, but then I sold it. But good thing it'll work on the 9. As you can see, it's not very nice to look at. So these bolts are very rusty. I'll admit I am kind of nervous about undoing them. These go into the head. And then we've got these bolts that go into the turbo. Let's get some penetrant on them and cross our fingers and hope they don't snap. Now, if you're new to the whole working on cars thing and you spray penetrant or WD or something of the like on something like an exhaust manifold that's gonna get hot, when you turn the car on, it's gonna smoke. It's gonna smoke for ages and it will stress you the f out like it did to me the first time I ever did it. And in the wise words of Marty from Mighty Car Mods, start with the hardest bolts first. I hate that, but it makes sense. So let's start at the ones at the bottom. advice for getting rusty bolts out is to use a socket that looks like that. That'll fit on the bolt snugly. Not one like that. These are not as good. So avoid these. Use these. So I might have played myself here. The bottom ones, I can get the socket on square quite easily, but these top ones, the manifold's in the way, Ma. Oh, we've made, we've made some progress. We have all these bolts, all these nuts holding the manifold to the head are now cracked. Probably about 14 mil down there, that 12 and that 12 were the most difficult ones. Unfortunately, the socket doesn't quite fit on these two uh, as it hits here, but I wouldn't normally recommend doing this, but I did end up using this little angle thing. Generally not ideal, but we did manage to crack it. So that's all that done. Now let's focus on these four that bolt the manifold to the servo. get the damn manifold off because these studs stop it going up and these studs stop it going out. So I'm going to try the old double nut trick and try and unwind these studs and hopefully, hopefully that'll work. No, fuck. Ah. Uh. Yeah. 
You know when you hang upside down and all the blood goes to your head and then you feel like a bit crazy? That just happened to me. Oh, I dried so hard. Oh. So I couldn't get the studs out. It was just stripping the stud. So I literally just pushed down on the turbo and pulled out. Hopefully we didn't break anything. It doesn't look like we did. Oh, that was harder than what I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why they put studs going up in the front, but bolts in the back. Why not just four bolts? I don't understand. That would have been so much easier. Anyway, let me show you what we got. There's a turbo down there. Looking all that rusty ass dump pipe. It's all sports. I do have all new hardware for this, so we do need to pull all of these studs out. But that's going to be a morning job, I think. Bang it out in the morning. I might try and clean it up a little bit down there while while we're sort of in here. It's pretty pretty dirty and pretty gross. Cool. The next morning, let's try and get all these studs out because we have new studs over here. Shiny, not so shiny. Gaskets for the exhaust manifold. Gaskets for the turbo and these. Should be studs for there. I just gotta work out how they work because they're different. Oh no, bruh. They're building a house next door and someone's here to clean it. Which means generator all day. Um. So definitely the trick to getting these out is using a whole bunch of penetrant. I'm using WD penetrant, it's doing the job. Make sure these nuts are really tight together, otherwise you'll just turn this the front nut as you would on doing it. So but these are really tight. Turn this like you normally would, stud comes out. I've got two, four, six, seven to go. Wish me luck. Well, you can't say I didn't bleed for it. Let's go. These turbo studs are proving quite difficult. Haven't even tried that one yet. This one we're making progress, but it's freaking tight and I'm really trying not to snap it, so. We got all them ones out. Now we just gotta do these. Uh, I cannot get these out. Well, I can't get that one out. I haven't even tried that one. Uh, I've tried for like, at least half an hour to get that stud out and I can't get it. So I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I can get it moving a little bit, but it just seems to get to a bite point that I can't get past. Um, I'm worried about snapping it. I don't have a tap, I don't have any taps. So as much as it's gonna kill me, I'm gonna leave it for now. I think when we do more turbo work in the future, we'll try and swap it. So unfortunately we're only gonna be able to use two of the four turbo to manifold studs. But that's fine, that's what it is. But our old studs, our factory studs, and we've got the new titanium ones. These are obviously a lot lighter. They've got this pretty cool, uh, I don't even know what you call that, pretty cool nut that fits well into one of these sockets. So, like that. Oh, that's gonna look so sick. These have little three mil Allen key had holes in them so we can thread them in and we are going to be talking them to 20 newton meters and of course we're going to be using ADCs on all of them because no doubt we'll be pulling them off again.
That looks pretty sick. Let's pull all the nuts off and put the gaskets on. That looks so sick. Wow! Okay, I'm gonna be using a combination of the old bolts on the front and then studs on the back because when you try and get your bolt in the back, you can't get it in the hole. I had to take these three nuts back out because I couldn't get the nut under this pipe between the studs. So I had to drop the stud, put the nut on it, and then tighten it up. So do that one first. Now let's put these three in and get them back together. This would be probably a lot easier with the blower valve off. So I'm gonna pull that out. I don't know how the hell you meant to get all these in. Alright, we're in a predicament. Whoever thought that style not was a good idea? Not a good idea. The only socket that I have that fits on that is a half inch drive. Shut up. And the half inch drive is too big to get around all the spaghettis. I can't even use a freaking spanner because the spanner doesn't go on there. I don't know what to do. I don't, don't want to have to use the old nuts, but we may end up having to use the old nuts. Well, a few of you may be like, you're an idiot. Use that side of the ring spanner. That fits over the nuts. All going well and good. But these two pose a problem because I had to pull the manifold out because the stud comes right up against this pipe. So the pipe really needs to be lower for a while before it starts coming up. This is a hypertune manifold, by the way. It's been ceramic coated. It's very nice. I like it, but it's pissing me off to be honest i am an amateur if you go up a size this is the 13 it will work i was using a 12 the 12 12 mil ring side works 13 mil on the spanner side let's get it on there let's go it's finished ah oh, man that was hard work we also picked us up an ATP heat shield. This is between the manifold and the rocket cover. It's meant to help with heat. I don't know about that, but I just reckon it looks sick. It's also got a little part for the cam angle sensor. At least I'm pretty sure it's the cam angle sensor. So this part, I'm not entirely sure how it goes, but it goes in there somewhere. This thing will sit just down in there like that. That's gonna be clean, let's get it on. All right, we finally got it done. We finally got it on. I'm pretty stoked. Honestly, it was definitely more of a pain in the ass than what I thought it was going to be. But it does look the goods. that burn off ultimately it made no difference but it looks heat better it doesn't appear to be leaking it got hot super quick it's pretty cool that's the end of it thanks for watching I had a lot of fun most of the time there were a lot of swear words involved that was a challenge I knew it was gonna be a challenge but I mostly thought the rusty bolts were gonna be a challenge they weren't too bad it was more just the fitment it looks great it makes no difference in the noise. If we ever tune the car, we might get a few more horsepower out of it. I will link the Hypertune manifold below. 
I will link the ATP heat shield below. I did get race bolts, titanium hardware. If I can find a link for them, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. If you want to see some other Evo shenanigans, go watch this video where I restore some of my ancient trim pieces.